Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's hump day. We're getting through it, getting through the week. Biden reportedly has some updates for us on the student loans. Also, we have $5,500 in cash payments. Which state is this? Is it you? I hope it's you. $5,500. This is the biggest stimulus I've seen in a while, except for rental assistance. And also, we've got another $500 pandemic relief that's coming out. $500. 5,500 and update on student loans. I hope you guys are interested in that, getting some money and an update. Also what's happening in the news. My name is Andrew Cartwright. Welcome to the show where we talk about stimulus, the economy, stocks, also give away $2,000. All you got to do, subscribe to the channel, like the video and throw a comment in the comment section. It really helps out too when you like the video and you throw a comment. I'd love to read your comment. Give me a piece of your mind. And when you enter to win by subscribing, we're going to pick a random comment and we're going to launch out $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers. So make sure you don't miss out on that because it is cool. So what do we got going on? We have the top stories. A man is taken into custody after he had a weapon. This is one of our judges. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a second. San Francisco votes overwhelmingly to recall progressive DA. The earth quick has happened. Not literally, but in the left and has the left running scared as far as votes in the election so we're, we're hearing a lot about that the gun rights gun conversations everywhere i don't know if you saw matthew mcconaughey yesterday went to the white house and talking there ukraine's still that mess is still happening um kavanaugh with a weapon was detained one of our supreme court justices can you imagine was detained he was near this guy was near brett kavanaugh's home are your honorable Brett Kavanaugh. Also, we've got those student loans to cover. We've got that 5,500 payment to cover, and then we've got that $500 to get out the door. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. It is Wednesday. It is June 8th, 2022. I hope you guys are doing fantastic as we are over the hump for the week. And we're going to be plugging away the rest of the week. We're going to have a great week, right? Make sure you check out my real estate program. If you want to become wealthy with real estate like I have, I don't brag about what I have. It's not my channel. It's not cool, I don't think. But it is the way that I've kept and maintained wealth is through real estate. How to buy, when to buy, market cycles, even how to not even use your own credit to buy stuff partnering with people, all kinds of stuff. So I've got really good stuff in that course, 36 videos, a resource list. I spent $40,000 on all the information in it for myself. And then $45 million knowing how to do this, just development, all kinds of stuff. So don't miss out on it. It's like literally 10% of the price at 99 bucks, regularly $1,000. So make sure you uh, do that and grab your six free stocks down below as well. Fund your account for a penny with Weeble and you can get six free stocks. No catch, pretty cool. But first, Biden is holding off on announcing that student loan forgiveness until later in the summer. Yep, so it's not off. We just are on pause, I suppose. It would likely be closer to when student loan payments are set to resume, which is on, you guessed it, September 1st. That's what you guessed, right? Biden uh, previously said in April that his decision on broad relief would be made quote, in the next couple of weeks, end quote. Biden, what happened? <laughs> Biden is considering $10,000 in relief for those federal borrowers, making it $150,000 a year if they make under that. That's an amount Biden pledged in his campaign trail. But since then, many Democrat lawmakers have been urging him to uh, go bigger or go home, I guess, on the relief without any income threshold. So they want to take away that hey, if you make a lot of money, it doesn't matter, and uh, they want more money uh, waived. Yes, Bernie Sanders on this topic, what's he have to say? Said, quote, canceling all student debt is not a racial idea. Saddling 46 million Americans with $1.8 trillion in debt for the crime of pursuing an education. Now that's a racial idea, end quote. Hmm. Interesting. What about the people who already paid off their debt or didn't get an education because they couldn't afford it? I don't know. Still, no decision has been made. Biden's administration has made clear borrowing should still plan to resume payments after August 31st, regardless of any relief that is coming. I did, I did six months of community college myself. 
um, and uh, didn't have anybody to pay for it. I went and applied for grants. I couldn't get any money. Um, I was, uh, you know, nothing fit into a class that would allow me to get any sort of funding. And I had no parent support in regards to going to school. They weren't willing to pay for my college education. So um, I dropped out after six months. Um, I did get a bunch of phone numbers to some cute girls um, in school. So maybe, maybe I lucked out after all. At any rate, um, my path, uh, I don't regret it. I had employees then anyway, so I was doing just fine business-wise. I was already, had a couple hundred employees in college. So college might have rounded me up a little bit. Who knows? As Biden has asserted in potential consequences of broad relief, some of his officials have indicated it, quote, could be good for the economy, end quote, and have a, quote, quite small impact on fl inflation. What this would mean is people aren't making loan payments, so they might go spend the money. That's, that's a pretty smart move in that regard. Um, I wish I would have had my college. It's so funny. I ran off on a tangent on that other thing. Sorry about that. Uh, how many of you have student loan debt? I'd love to see. Put it in the comments down below. And do you want to see it canceled? Are you a little upset about the fact that somebody got a degree and then they're going to get their debt canceled? Or do you think, you know, hey, education like that should be free anyway. So regardless. And what about people who already paid the bill, sacrificed their whole life, maybe their parents and paid it, and then had it wiped out, some, the person that was sitting next to them. Meanwhile, Alaska state government stepped up, yep, as the state with more money granted to its citizens, Alaska wanted to ease the inflation pressure on its residents. Yep, in Alaska, they're set to receive a check for $5,500. The state of Alaska's Senate approved a 5,500 stimulus check with a 15 to 5 vote in favor of the legislation after the approval of the Senate. The initiative is now on the way to the House of Representatives. Under the stimulus check, Alaskan residents will receive a $1,300 check to ease the cost of energy bills. However, the Alaskan Senate voted 10 to 9 on an extra dividend worth a uh, 4200 and the state of Alaska has increased their dividend payments to $2.8 billion. Some legislators believe that the state house will reject the bill. Oh, that's pretty pessimistic. Alaska's Speaker um, Lewis Stutes said, quote, we have all those conservative people that have been nickel, diamond, different bills saying we've got to save money, end quote. Hmm. All right, save money for when? Uh, both chambers will have a conference committee meeting to reach a new deal and the house doesn't if they don't approve this stimulus check doesn't mean alaska won't have an extra extra money granted they're going to get that still though there's a great chance that it could be approved and it is a lot of money for the people in alaska don't you wish they were doing it in your state uh hate to hate to rip the scab off that one covering a band-aid a bullet wound with the band-aid, right? Anyway, finally, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy has proposed a $500 stimulus check to low-income wage earners who filed the most recent taxes using a tax ID number instead of a Social Security number as an effect to include undocumented immigrants. More than 100,000 people in the state would qualify for the assistance. That added $20 million is also included in the budget, Murphy said. A Democrat introduced this on Tuesday. Yesterday, individuals qualifying for $2,000 and families $4,000 from the excluded fund where they were excluded. They got to earn, you know, less than $55,000, though. Otherwise, they don't get it. The excluded funds is supported by the pandemic, federal pandemic aid. The proposal of $48.9 billion state budget also deducts $11 million in state funds to provide health coverage for New Jersey family care, Medicare programs for undocumented children as well. As always, I would love to hear what's on your mind. Please give me a piece of it in the comments below. Uh, take care. See you in the next video. Happy June 8th, 2022, Wednesday, hump day. Take care.